Okie doke. So this is one full side done. Here, let me do a little twirl for you. So that you can see what is going on. Uh, I bought my clips, I forgot to mention, I bought my clips in all shades of my hair color because then it blends in, um, which I obviously recommend you do. So there you go. Um, okay, so on the other side, we're going to do exactly the same thing. Lean, clip your clip open, gather, 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 and clip. The good thing about this being is that if you don't like where you've clipped a clip, unclip it. Very, very easy which really is the name of the game. Cute hairdos, vintage style, easy to do. Right? Am I right? I think I'm right. Okay. Clip, clip, clip. Okay. Last few little curls down in here. You want it to be really cute and very functional. See? Gather up all the little rogue ones that you don't like. I bought them in varying different um, sizes as well. I have little mini ones for all these little, all the little rogue hairs. Okay, fix this little doojigu up here. I get compliments every time I wear my hair like this. And you will too. And you know what? Honestly, it takes about 15 minutes. Not including the hour that your hair is in hot rollers, but that gives you enough time to do your makeup anyway, right? Okay, so. One more clip should do it, and then we'll start on the fun part. Not that this isn't all fun, but you know what I mean. Okay, so now that we've got all the clips in, so again, do a little twirl. You can see the whole thing. We're going to spray it. Okay. So, let's get started on the front part. First thing you're going to do, take your clip out and comb it all the way through. Okay. Now, this part, uh, takes a little bit of practice and I do recommend having a full-on hair rehearsal before you get into this. The easiest way that I have learned how to do is to put two fingers down right here, wind this hair around these two fingers, not tight but also not loose, if you know what I mean. When it's attached to your head, keep your fingers where they are. That's when you're going to take the big clip Clip it so that it is, so that you can feel it between your fingers, but it's also really secure. Really slowly, slide your hair out the other side, and you'll start to see the beginnings of some really fun little Betty Pagey thing going on. Now, if you wanted this bigger, if this was going to be for a larger event or you were going full on Betty Page, you would tease this before doing this. For me tonight, I want it to be as non costumey uh, as possible. I don't want it to look costumey at all. Uh, the other thing you want to make sure is that these pins are in. So once you've got the clips in that are holding them to your head, then you can take more bobby pins and again just kind of mess with it a little. It's all about trial and error and it is all about practice. Um, I have done some very cool things with this little bobble if you want to call it that, where I have twirled it onto the side and made a little swirl. Uh, that's getting more fancy. That's what I wear like to weddings and stuff. Okay, pull it out a little bit more. Again, it's all trial and error. It's all screwing with it until you're happy, really. And this, right now, makes me a little happy. So, I'm going to leave it. It's good. You can't see any of the clips. And spray it. Lift it up a little. Spray underneath. Use your sprayed finger to, again, just kind of get the inside a little so that it's non-moving. Non-moving is key. Et voila! We have a very cute rockabilly style, Betty Page-ish, vintage -y, 
thing going on. If you were going to get even fancier, you could take a flower and you could stick it right here, behind your ear, like that, for summer. Let me leave that, actually. I like it. So there you go. I hope you guys are enjoying my videos. Um, the comments have been great on my last on the 1930s video, the comments are great, and I'm really happy. Uh, I would love it if you guys would send me pictures of your finished hairdos. Uh, you can email them to me at sirsloaf at hotmail.com. My username on uh, YouTube is sirsloaf. It's S-R-S-L-O-A-F at hotmail.com. I look forward to seeing them. Okay, bye.